Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Unbox with Marty. So I don't know if you heard this, but not too long ago, uh, Linux Mint 22.1 Zia Cinnamon was just recently released. I decided what I want to do is I put it on this PC and I want to see, will Linux Mint 22.1 Zia Cinnamon serve as a operating system for my daily PC? All right, here we are. We're going to have a look at the uh, Linux Mint 22.1 Cinnamon Edition. And we're not going to dive into this uh, uh, disc show to learn how to change the, uh, the appearance. What I want to do is I want to take a look at it in what I call OOB, out of box. I want to take a look at the out of the box. Can I use Linux Mint 22.1 as is, uh, as a daily driver, as something that I can use on a day-to-day -day basis uh, for my ordinary, let's just say, consumer computing needs. So, uh, of course, the first thing we always want to look at is the uh, web browser. The web browser that comes with Linux Mint, of course, is Firefox. You can see that right here. you got Firefox. Uh, before we go any further, always a great idea is, and I recommend this, anytime you're going to explore a, a distro, a Linux distro, any kind of operating system, just go to the home page and take a look at it. Now, you got to see here, I have already have it saved in my bookmarks. Here, of course, uh, we're bringing up the uh, Linux Mint web page. You can see right here, you've got Linux Mint 22.1 Zia. Uh, and like it says here, it comes in different flavors. So the flavors we've got here is Cinema Edition. That's the one we're looking at. And then you've got uh, XFCE Edition, and you have Mate Edition. Again, good idea to always take a look at the distro's homepage just to get familiar with it. Uh, let's see what else we got. You know, we're not going to need this welcome screen here anymore. So um, another thought is often uh, you can use your web browser, uh, Firefox, to access your email. Just something to keep uh, uh, keep in mind. It does come with an email app. You, know, you can look here. There's a lot of apps here that come with uh, uh, Linux Mint. Uh, you can just thumb through here. There's just a lot here to take in. But I really appreciate this uh, search bar here. So let's just type in email and you're going to see what you're going to get here is, oh, look at this. You're, you've got the, uh, well, Thunderbird. That's uh, uh, the uh, email app that comes with uh, Mint 22.1. Uh, you can see right here, you're seeing uh, the steps to get it set up. So good. You have an email app as well as you can use your web browser. Uh, one of the apps that I use, and this is important for me, is I like to use a word processor. And there is, well, of course, there's a very good set of uh, Office apps in here. You've got LibreOffice. Let's take a look at that. We're going to go right here. We're going to open up the writer. Now, I'm going to draw your attention to something that I thought was kind of odd here. Uh, before we go into really actually giving a quick test here, this is something, this, this is not a fix. I see something here that bugs me a little bit. Again, it's not a uh, fix, but this is a, a workaround. If you look here, you can see these icons are not appearing, but you can see uh, a line center. If I click on it, it shows. And if I click on the next, you can see the uh, uh, align, uh, I think it's the align right. Yeah, align right. But you can't see it unless you click on the icon. But uh, not a fix, but a workaround to get this to work for you. Because, you know, I kind of like to see my icons. And I'm not sure why this is happening. But uh, I'm just going to close this out. I'm not going to save. Let's go right here. We're going to go back to Office. And let's go to LibreOffice right here. We're going to load it up. And let's see, what do I want to do? OK, you know what I want to do is I think I'm going to go to Tools. Let's go to Options. Uh, personalization right here. We're going to click on there. I'm just going to throw up a different uh, theme here, a pre-installed theme. I'm just going to go with this green one and see if this fixes it. So let's go OK. All right, and that's, uh, I can close this out. Let's go back to the uh, Office Word Processor uh, right here, LibreOffice. There we go. And we look at that. Okay, pretty nice green, huh? But you can see the icons are showing here. So uh, technically, I don't consider it a fix, but it is a workaround. So something just to keep in mind, just to help your life out, make it easier so you don't get confused. So well, let's carry on. So uh, I'd like to take a look. I'm just going to open an app. I mean, not an open an app. I'm going to open a file I have pre-set up here. Let's just go here. Let's go to Documents. Oh, we got it right here. Unboxing with Marty. Familiar name. It's a, a document that I just set up ahead of time. 
All right, there you go. You can see it. Now, deliberately, I've got some misspelled words here. So I will type this out. You want to take a look at it. Uh, let's see. Peripherals. I misspelled that, it says. So let's just uh, click on that. I'm uh, right-clicking to get that. And let's go with that. Look at that. It's helped me uh, collect, uh, correct some of my spellings. Let's try YouTube. There you go. But you know what? I want to throw a picture in here just because I can. So uh, let's go insert. Let's go down to, let's find uh, image right there. And I have an image there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click on it. Bring it in. Uh, let's check it out. It's the uh, iMac I bought a long time ago. I bought it for 20 bucks at a garage sale. Still got the thing in the other room behind me. So uh, still play with it. It's, uh, I'm very happy with it because it was uh, actually uh, helped me get this channel started. Uh, there you go. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to slide this up a little bit like that. So there you go. You can see that right there. Uh, I've moved it around. We can edit the document. Um, you're pretty much good to go. What I'm going to do is going to go ahead and file and print. Uh, it's going to go through my network, so it might take a little bit of time, but let's take a look. Let's send it. Uh, it's going to the Canon. And so while we wait for this, uh, something to think about is if you're enjoying this video and the videos on this channel, uh, now would be a great time for to click on that subscribe button below. Uh, you know, when you subscribe to this channel, you are helping it grow, and I do really appreciate it. Um, you know, likes are good, too. Give me the likes. And if you have comments or suggestions, please keep them in. They're always good. I do appreciate it. Uh, let's shrink this down. It does seem like it's... Oh, there I can hear it. It's coming off the printer now. So I don't know if you can hear it, but it'll be off in a second. Let's take a look at it. And uh, let's see. The next thing I want to do is... You know what I'm going to do? Let's take a look at the document. But I think what I want to do is... Well, I have a list here. I want to make sure I don't skip what I think is important. We're going to take that document. And here it is. I'll be right back. But we're going to scan it next. So let's take a look at it. All right. There you go. Print the document. Nice, right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close the document out. Uh, here we go. I'm not going to save. But uh, let's go here. I'm going to load it into the scanner. And let's, let's see how this works out. So again, I'm not going to spend my time going through all these apps looking for it. I'm just going to type in the word scan and see what shows up. Uh, document scanner right here. So I'm going to go with that. Eh. It's the first time I've used this, so I'll give it a minute. Uh, you know, I don't know how long it's going to take to find the scanner, but it's there. So I'll give it a second. And uh, while we're doing that, there it is. We're going to go with the Canon. So let's see how that works. So uh, let's go ahead and go with this. And I'm listening for it. Oh, yeah, I can hear it happening right now. Seems to be going kind of slow. Ah, uh, I can hear it happening right now. So uh, we'll see it appear here in just a moment. I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, yeah, it's scanning. It's a flatbed scanner right now. There it is. All right, we've got that. So then I'm going to just save the document and I will save it as a PDF down here. Uh, scan document, let's see, where's it gonna go? It's gonna go to documents, so we're gonna hit save. Done. Close this, shrink this down. Let's go to my files, documents. Uh, here we go, scanned. Here it is. Let's see what it looks like. There you go. There's a scanned document. So scanning works. That's another one off the list. Check one off the list and let's move on to another one. All right. Let's see another item that I would like to see on a day-to-day -day basis is I do spreadsheets. Um, actually, I, you know, I can even use it as a uh, checkbook register. So let's just take a quick look here. Let's go back to uh, Office. We're going to take a look at uh, Calc. Bring it up. All right, let's uh, again file open. Let's see what we got here. Uh, let's see, budget. I called the budgets again, another test file, so we'll just open it up real quick. There you go. And it looks pretty easy to use. Um, obviously, I already have it pre summed. But uh, what you can do here is this is some, and you got the some character here. I can change it if I want, and I can go with the average. Get the enter key. Tells me the average here is 12.41 uh, and so on. But another way to go around it is I can just quick click here and drag, right? I've got these all dragged. And if you look down here in the bottom right corner down here, 
you can see here, I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. Uh, let's shrink it, see if we can, there we go. Let's bring it down this way. That way, uh, you can see here it is, uh, averages 21.33. Uh, let's see what happened there. That's not right. Oh, you know what? It's because I didn't grab the whole thing. Check that out. So let's fix that. Let's uh, fix that again. We'll just grab the whole thing. That's what I did. It's a good thing we're checking that out, right? Now you've got your average of 12.41, and you got 12.41. So like I said, so, uh, when I grabbed it, I probably grabbed it from a range like this, and you came up with a different uh, average. That is what it is. So let's see what else we can do here. Um, you know what? What I might try to do is something I always have fun with is, let's see if we can do this here. All right, what I want to do here is I'm going to go to data and I'm going to go with pivot table. I'm going to insert. This is kind of nice. Um, I'm just going to go with the range. I'm just going to go with the range that it's already selected here just because we're just trying to make it nice and simple. Uh, we're going to bring in the name here. We're going to bring in the amount here. And let's bring the date here and hit OK. There you go. So you've got a pivot table right there. It just kind of gives you an idea. Pivot tables I use at work just as, so you can grab a bunch of data and it makes it just easier to filter out. That said, let's give it an okay. What else do I want to look at? So we've done scanning. You know what? Uh, well, we kind of saw the photo, but uh, we'll take a look at it one more time. Let's go to pictures. And of course, we can always just take a look at photo. There you go. Uh, it comes with a photo app. That's good. I can always use that all the time. And let's try one more item. Let's take a look here. I'm going to close this out. What I want to do is uh, videos. Videos are important to me. So I'm going to just drill in here. I've got a video. Uh, let's see what we got here. Um, what is this? Oh, you know what? Uh, during the summer, I uh, went to Minnesota. And uh, we went on what's called a troll hunt. And here you go. This is it. Uh, this is located in uh, Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. Of course, here's a troll right here, a little troll hunt. They had these located throughout the community, and you had to go hunt for them. So here's one right here. Uh, that was kind of fun, but you can see it'll play videos. Be curious to find out what you consider an important app on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, that being said, I do appreciate watching. You know, there's only one thing I saw so far, but I mean, graphically, that's different. It's that I think is different from the earlier release is when you want to shut down, it, you get a kind of a little different uh, message box, just something to think about. I mean, uh, like I said, I wasn't really going to focus on how to change the settings or change the appearance. I just wanted to focus on can Linux Mint be a useful uh, distro on a day to day basis? And from what I've seen here, it looks pretty useful. So, uh, again, thank you for watching, and as always, Take care and have a good day.